Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, I have amazing new information about a, some cancer information actually today coming out of Japan. Before I begin, I want to let you know I am not giving you any medical advice. Please consult your physicians for any medical needs you may have. And I will also say that I'm not making any medical claims. With that being said, let me share with you what the heck is going on here. This is so amazing. I shared this information be before but there's an update to it. And basically what the Japanese realized and learned is that there's a correlation between parasites, these worms, and cancer. And they've been using it to literally try to sniff out cancer. No joke, like they know that there's a smell, there's a scent to it. They've known that dogs can sniff out cancer. For the life of me, I still don't know why we don't use dogs in hospitals. It's much less invasive and much easier. But basically the Japanese are now using parasites and worms to sniff out cancer. They have a much better sense of smell than dogs. And it's done with high percent of accuracy. It's completely non-invasive and they literally just need a drop of urine. However, so they're using nematodes, okay? It's a type of parasite. Now this is all very interesting, but now they stepped it up a notch, guys. They were able now to genetically modify the nematode, the parasite, to specifically sniff out, check it out, pancreatic cancer, guys, in your urine. This is almost the holy grail. And I say that because a lot of people don't know that pancreatic cancer is notoriously difficult to catch in its early stages. And I believe the most aggressive kinds of pancreatic cancer, the survival rate is only, I believe, like 1%. So it's really low. Here's the latest news. It's right here. Uh, this is news from Japan, let's see here if I can just show you here. Early stages of pancreatic cancer. It's a new type of screening for it. Here's all the Japanese scientists who have worked on it. I believe they're gonna get a Nobel Prize for this. And let me show you some other interesting stuff. Like check this out. Uh, again, I'm not giving you guys any medical advice, but I will say right here, John Hopkins is using antiparasitic drug that slows down pancreatic cancer in mice. Now I'll tell you right now, I take antiparasitics and deworming drugs you know, semi-regularly to keep my body healthy. Most people do not do that. And I've known people personally whose their cancer has literally gone away. Now this is dangerous, you know, again, I'm not giving any medical advice at all. I'm just telling you that I've literally known people who've used antiparasitics and here they're showing it. And guess what antiparasitic they're using? That's probably the big question on people's mind. And they're using menbendazole. It's not one of my favorite antiparasitics. I prefer fenbendazole, but that's the one that they're using and they just go into a lot of the data. If you guys wanna read a lot about it, maybe I can put the link down below. But I have found a combination of things works best. Now again, this is just my own personal opinion because I combine antiparasitics with specific multivitamins and you know vitamins in general paired with molecular hydrogen and really clean water. And those are just the majority of the things that I found that seem to work really good together. In fact, here's a little data too. This comes from pub, courtesy of PubMed very legitimate source, obviously. And what they found also is the way that here it says, anti-inflammatory properties of molecular hydrogen. Obviously, you guys know I love molecular hydrogen. In fact, I'm inhaling some right now as we're speaking from my Lord as Hydrofix, obviously. But anyway, so they're showing that hydrogen, there's an investigation on the parasite-induced liver inflammation. Now, we know in the world of science that there is a correlation between inflammation and disease. And in this particular case, it was affecting the liver. So what I actually had read in the study was ultimately when you're breathing in the hydrogen that it affects parasitic counts in the liver and also seems to reduce inflammation. So maybe that also kind of gives me an idea that maybe parasites are causing the inflammation. I know they cause a lot of free radical damage. So again, all very interesting how there, I think there's just a correlation between all these things. And that's why keeping the body really clean, keeping the, the parasitic number low, uh, keeping free radicals low, that, you know, so it doesn't cause a lot of damage. And, and all these different methods, which I believe you guys have heard me talk a lot about on my videos, I think it really would ultimately help the body stay in good health. Again, this is just my opinion, and it's, and it's an opinion based on a lot of the science here that you guys can see. And that's it, guys. So I hope that you guys found the, the video informative. If you did and you want to keep hearing more data coming out of Japan, the latest and greatest, don't forget to support the channel by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Comment below if you want me to continue to give you guys data coming out of Japan because I never hear this stuff in the news in America. I think it's personally very important for us to learn more and more so we can stay healthy. And, you know, physicians here in the United States can hopefully learn from this and they can apply this type of technology to help people. And that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time on the next one. All right, this is just extra bonus footage for those who happen to stick around. 
Just thought I'd show you here that in this particular study, they showed that the treatment of the hydrogen had significant protective effects towards liver injury, namely decreased fibrosis, improvement of hemodynamics, increased NOS2 activity, increased antioxidant enzyme activity that I've heard a lot about. I think that's obviously very important. Awesome. Decreased lipid peroxide levels and decreased circulation of TNF alpha levels. So all this, again, showing you some very positive effects on the liver from the hydrogen, obviously. They even showed um, some uh, positive, let's see here, some positive effects from helium. But remember, helium gas is pretty much hydrogen. I believe it's just one additional hydrogen molecule. But it doesn't seem to be quite as effective as molecular hydrogen. That's why I prefer molecular hydrogen as far as the data is concerned. But again, just wanted to share with you guys, for those of you who stuck around, thanks for watching. See you next time on the next one.